Ah, ladies and gentlemen, and you thought we were done with the uh, studio skill stuff after the uh, livery ship. Actually, the first one I built uh, right after the Galactica was the Colonial Movers. And uh, I had all the kit parts to make this except for the trailers. And I couldn't find the trailers. If I did, I found one. And, I, you know, you need six. And it's old uh, NPC uh, uh, trailer kits that you get. But at the time, a uh, toy company called New Ray, they had trailers, uh, tractor trailer uh, toys. The trailers were dimensionally accurate to the NPC ones. They just didn't have the ribs. They were just, uh, I won't say smooth trailers, but they were overall basic shells. So... I got six of those, and uh, I either could have waited a very, very long time, or, you know, I had all the parts, and I was geared up to get it. So, I bought the trailers, and I just added uh, styrene strips. You can see where the, uh, they've been falling off over the years, you know, just, uh, uh, you know, just the way it is. Uh, my, I do like to make my own decals, and uh, that's water jet, and uh, trying to get it on, and, uh, you know, kind of trying to fade it and trying to uh you know get it to look uh uh worn but saturn fives you know leopolds again they love their uh, leopold kits it's just uh it's just crazy what they did again uh, i don't know if you can hear them spike the only thing i wish i would have done is put a uh, like i could have but a lot of planning putting a mounting rod on here so you could mount it uh, but it was one of those I was uh, on my way of, uh, you know, uh, building it and just wanted to uh, enjoy. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. 88 uh, ammo boxes, you know. Uh, why they put a turret, you know, it's just random stuff, you know, which is just uh, fantastic. You know, little things on the inside. I would have loved to have done the Cylon uh, tanker, but it's just one of those. Uh, that one's a little more in-depth, especially the compound curves on it. But, you know, it's a very, very simple build. You know, look at all the Leopold parts, and you got to have a bunch of them. And then they took the uh, ammo, 88mm uh, ammos, and added, uh, you know, items on it. You know, just to break it up and all that, but other than that. Uh, where did I do it? Did I do it on this side? Nope. Uh, I painted most of all the uh, graphics on there, and then, of course, I added, uh, you know, Colonial Movers. We move anywhere. But anyway, this one is, uh, I would say, 97, 98% accurate. I don't, except for the trailers. Uh, that's the only thing that's not... Uh, accurate I mean it is dimensionally accurate but not to what the kit parts they use but anyway this was a very again another fun build you know just like the uh, livery ship you know uh, you had all the parts because you accumulate a lot of kits if you build a uh, battle star and then uh, you can pretty much uh, do these you do have to buy extras of some uh, to continue on but other than that and uh, I got to try to find a in here I want to show a uh, uh, Probert, he made a uh, ragtag ship, and his was a triangle ship. And I had the kit, and I actually started, I cut it, and uh, that was the uh, last of it. But anyway, that's the Colonial Movers, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a, you know, uh, studio scale modeling is just uh, hits the right spot sometimes. You know, the the detective work, the actual physical building, you know, acquiring the kits, uh, getting them together, and you have a replica of a ship that was seen on screen but anyway ladies and gentlemen that's what i got going on today uh taking a look at the uh, studio scale uh colonial movers so stay tuned for the next exciting uh episode